Docker has jumped into generative AI arena, but not with a style. And I will explain why I am saying not in a style, but let me tell you what Docker has done when it comes to generative AI at the moment. So they have introduced this new Gen AI stack, which integrates Docker with new 4J graph database, lang chain model chaining, and also with Olama for running large language models, or in short, LLMs. I have already done few videos on Olama, Langchain, and also one on Neo4j, so you can search the channel. Now, what Docker is doing, it is in simple words enabling you to run the LLMs within the Docker container. And for that, they are using Olama to run them locally, they are using Langchain to interact with the application, and they are using Neo4j graph database to store the embeddings and some other stuff. This is primarily aimed at to allow developers to deploy a robust suite of generative AI tools with minimal setup. That is the claim, by the way. That's not true at the moment, in my experience. Now, why it is important? Docker's expansion into AI-driven utilities is really a very welcome step, even if it doesn't work at the moment, as they say, because it will reduce manual configuration and it will allow us to integrate it in diverse components where developers can be more efficient and they can operate the applications. And the best thing is that then we would be able to run LLMs on Kubernetes easily, whether it is AWS EKS or GKE or um, any AKS in Azure or any other Kubernetes platform. In this GitHub repo, which is from Docker and I will share the link in video description. The main uh, points are that you can install in the Docker containers, the LLMs like Llama 2, GPT 3.5, GPT 4, or any model which is supported by Olama. So for instance, if you go to this website of Olama, then you will see that there are various models such as Met Llama, Llama 2 Chinese Falcon, and any model supported by Olama, so which makes it really broad. Other than that, you can have GPT 3.5, GPT 4, or Llama 2, which you can use with this uh, Gen AI stack from Docker. And then they have this Langchain connectivity, which act as a glue between your LLMs and your applications and databases. And you can even use tools like LangSmith for troubleshooting and monitoring your whole Gen AI application. It is um, still in early access, very, very hodgepodge system. I tried to install it locally, it didn't work. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but what when, what I did is I'm using AWS EC2 instance, running Ubuntu on it on G4DN 4X large instance with plenty of disk, because it needs plenty of disk, by the way. And then uh, I installed NVIDIA drivers because that is what is required. Then I installed Docker and Docker Compose to run it. And when I run this uh, with the Mistral LLM, it doesn't work. So the only change as per doc which you need to make is in this ENV file. So you can see in this ENV file, let me clear my screen to make it more visible. This is it. What is happening here? Illustration PR. There you go. env. This is the env file. Now in this env file, look at this line. This is where you need to specify your LLM. Now, as they say that this supports any model run which we which is supported by Olama. So I selected Mistral. I have used it with the tags like Mistral colon latest. I have used it with tags like uh, some other, uh, and I'll quickly show you what I'm basically saying. Install. So for instance, these are the models, right? So if I go to Mistral and click on it, and then go to tags, then I have tried it with latest. I have tried it with this Mistral instruct uh, or simple Mistral, yeah, but still it gives me the error which uh, I showed you when I was running it. Maybe I could run it again in real time. So this is a command, this command, I, uh, it, there's also a typo in it. Anyway, so if you run it, it exits with this code. 
so it uh, it is even um, unable to pull that model from that website from Olama. So, but I will keep trying. Uh, maybe I need to play around more with this uh, env file or some other settings. But I'll check to see. Um, the documentation is terrible, by the way. They could really uh, spend some time and improve it. Because if you go to their GitHub, this is all this is. And this even this command doesn't work if you just paste it as is. You have to use some uh, something. So sorry, this is the command. I'm just showing it now. So this is a documentation. This command which I just highlighted. This doesn't work as is. You have to put up here after the profile, as you I showed you in my party window. Okay, and then if you and that's it. Uh, and they say that you just need to use the um, tag here and that's it in linux no need to even install or llama that's what i did but it doesn't work um so i'll keep trying i'll tinker with it play around with it and see how it goes and i'll create another video uh, or maybe wait for it to get a bit more mature but anyway really good step uh really looking forward and i'll keep an eye on this and if when it matures i might install it on some kubernetes cluster and show you from there I hope that you enjoyed it, uh, even half baked. But um, if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.